Welcome back to another video. It's your girl Debbie Ollie. As you all can see, I have someone in my video. She's my sister and she's going to be introducing herself. What's her name? Hi, my name is Jennifer. So, we have something very special I'd like to discuss with her. And um, I haven't told her because, you know, I don't want um, her to start forming for me or I, I would just want her to be blunt you know tell me what she thinks about it and then if there is any advice i'll like to, um advice i'll give her then i'll give her so but before we go into the video i like to say if this is your first time tuning into this channel thank you so much for tuning in and you are most welcome and if you are a loyal subscriber that have subscribed to my channel and always watching my um videos each time i post I really really appreciate you all thank you so so much from the bottom of my heart I say thank you <laughs> thank you so let's get right into this video in today's video I'm gonna be doing again again <laughs> guess okay guess what do you think we are going to talk about today I don't know you've not told me let me try sister tag. speak up eh? sister tag. Mm -mm. I didn't want to do sister tag because I feel like um, because I feel it's very, very more important for us to talk about it. And the thing is, girls talk. <laughs> yeah, so in today's video, we are going to be doing girls talk where we get to discuss. Or maybe I give you advice. You also can give me advice. There's nobody that is above advice, right? Don't be shy. This is, nobody is here, right? They are going to watch it after the video. So, um, I'd like to start by asking you, do you know what a crush is? You know, yeah. you know what crush is. So, have you crushed on anybody before? Yes. You have. Yes. What, what, what? As in, what made you crush on someone? His personality, yeah. His personality. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you like the kind of person the person is, yes. or anything. Yeah, I like the kind of person he is. Okay. You can crush on somebody. It's not a thing. At least someone can also crush on you. Maybe the person likes your personality. Oh, I like the way this girl behaves. Do you get? Mm -hmm. Person can say, as in person can just crush on him. Like mm, I like this girl. Do you get what I'm saying? But I like you to know that the world we are now, there are so many many things happening right now. You know. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then some guys are very deceitful. Yes. Do you get? They are very deceitful. They can lure you into things that you don't want to you know to do don't let a guy deceive you guys are very deceitful like do you want your heart to be broken like shattered no like use knife and cut the knife your 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 heart into pieces mm. so you have to be very careful in making the right right decision especially when you know you'll be in school where nobody is there with you how do you live your life who are you with who are you answerable to and um what are you doing do you get what i'm saying what is the worst thing you've heard about guys? Mm, raping younger girls. So, what happened? It's actually a story. A friend told me that it was like the man was parading the whole street and saw a little girl whose parents were not there. So, he took, up audible. The, he took up the girl and took her into a bush and raped her. Bush? Yeah. Who told you the story? A friend of mine. Wow. How old was the girl? The girl was about seven. Seven years old? Yeah. Jesus. See, that leads me to what I was saying. You have to be very careful. Guys are very mean. Like, imagine raping someone of seven years old. That is how bad it is. And it, rape cannot just come like that. Even a male friend, like a boy that is a friend, can just lure you into raping you. Yes. Thank God you are not telling me this story. So you know how things dangerous are. Like, I've just been hearing this rape thing. But, ah. It's really terrible. I don't even want to talk about it because I'm like, I don't even know what... I, I cannot even comprehend. I swear. Now I'm hearing this from her for the first time she's telling me. So for you to know how it is. Now, when a guy tells you, what do you think? Do you know anything about love? Yeah, I know something about love. What do you know about love? Because that is the, that is the, that is the simplest thing they can use to lure a guy. I love you. So what do you think is love? Love is a... 
is a supernatural feeling. Mm? Look here. It's a natural feeling you have for another person. What kind of feeling? We have different types of love. We have passionate love. We have agape love. But the one I, I, the one I, the one I like is the one of agape love, which is free. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I'm so much interested in agape love. I'm not interested in passionate love. Uh, you, you are so much interested. In, so when will you be interested in uh, agape, um, passionate love? Let me say around twenty something. Yeah. Around twenty something, you be passionate about. Okay, so when that time comes, how will you know? Yeah. Okay, if you are passionate with somebody, what will you do to the to the person that you are passionate for? That you cannot do to the person that you are, you have agape love for. That question I cannot answer it though. Eh? I you must answer have... it though. We are in this video together. That is how you will know. You must answer it. So okay. what is the thing? Mm, I've not reached the level now. When I reach <laughs> the level, I will answer So right now you don't love anybody, right? I mean you don't love somebody passionately. No, no, no. You don't love you sure you don't love somebody passionately? No, 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 no. Well, when that time comes, that is what I'm telling you now. Because I don't want somebody else to use to tell you. I want to tell you with my mouth. You have to be very careful in making making a decision of making someone a passionate lover like making someone oh i love this person passionately mm -hmm. do you get what i'm saying yes. i think it is when you are ready emotionally physically spiritually then you cannot go into it and then mind you you know you can love somebody passionately and the person does not love you passionately yeah how will you know i'm asking i've not been in the shoes now so i don't know how it feels but i do hear it you do hear about what i do hear of you loving someone and personal loving you back okay if you're in that situation what will you do if you're in a situation whereby you love somebody but the person doesn't love you i'll just kill the love kids oh you think it's easy to just carry the love and say i come here bring knife you kill the love like that just like that free of charge you kill love it's not easy that is why before you love somebody you must have known the person very well what are the like the, the things that you like okay this person must portray before you can end up with the person okay the person must be God fearing must be nice and kind must be willing to be must be willing to bear my pains <laughs> Must be willing to bear your pains. Are you willing to bear his pains? Yes, I'm <laughs> okay. Okay, so the person must be willing to, you know, bear your pain. Yeah. So what are you willing to do for the person? Same. Same thing. Yeah. I'm willing to bear his pains. I'm also <laughs> kind and nice. Oh, um, who told you you're kind and nice? Let me first start telling you now. You're not kind. Come, come. I'm not kind. A lot of people do tell me I'm kind. A lot of people. I'm selfless. Yeah, I'm not selfish. I'm selfless. So. Well, she is. She is good. She's okay. Do you know it is very good to, you know, put God first in everything you do? Like, even in a relationship, I think it's, it's best to just put God first in everything. But after that, you should also learn to be friends with the person for a long period of time. Yeah. Before you now say, oh, I want to finally be in a relationship with this person. To know the person more. And to see if it is possible that this thing can work out for us. So now, I want to, um, I want to give you the opportunity to ask me any question you feel. Just don't be shy. Just tell me what are the questions you were willing. I want to ask my sister, but I don't know. Now I'm giving you the open mind to ask me. I'll answer you. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is a very interesting period. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know how to answer the question. Ask anyhow. Okay. What is the longest, I've been mean, asking, longest relationship you've ever been in? I think you should put the question like this that maybe is it about how long you can be in a relationship? Yes. Or um, how long, you know? How Abby? long you can be in a relationship? Well, you cannot use me to do you, I mean, to be your, as in, everybody have their different experience and what works for them you get mm -hmm. me now okay if i'm if i'm to use me i just believe in timing like i don't rush things you know i don't rush things. i don't i just like to take it one step at a time the longest it depends on you and what you are looking for and what you and your partner are looking for 
Do you understand? If it is something that you and your partner, oh, you guys have decided in this period of time, you guys really, you are working on something. Okay, what if you meet your partner and he possess all these things, but he has a bad attitude that you don't like? That is the time that you guys can see if you, can you really stay in that relationship? Or if eventually you guys end up together, is this something that you people can, you know, cope with? Do you understand? Is it something you can cope, cope with? So everything still boils down to what you want, how you want it. Do you get? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So, your time is different from my time. The both of us are two different people. So, I think this is what I can say. So, any other question? Okay. Question number two. <laughs> how will you know if... Okay, how will you know if a guy loves you? How will you know if a guy loves you? Or if a guy genuinely loves you? Mm -hmm. Um, How genuine the person is? For instance, now, if... When you are in a bad situation, how does the guy react to you? When you offend him, how does he react to you? Like, I don't mean he cannot be, like, he, he can't shout out to you or tell you, I don't like what you did and all that. But did he show you love? Did he care for you when you need it? Okay. Do you understand? Did he care for you when you need it? Do you, do, when you are needed, like, when you are in a, a very tight situation, how did he come? How did he help you? How does he go about it? Do you understand? Yes. Uh -huh. Like, when everyone else is against you, is he with you? Okay. Do you understand? Uh -huh. These are the reasons, these are the things that you look out for when someone loves you and everything. And his plan towards you. Is it the kind of person that is that that he knows that oh you like dancing for instance now? How does he channel what you love? And like how does he help you to improve in what you love? Mm -hmm. Do you get it? But you just know your instinct will always tell you. You will know if somebody loves you or not. Mm -hmm. That is it. Okay. If for instance, mm -hmm. a guy breaks your heart, mm -hmm. and before you know it, he comes back and apologize. You need to take him back, assuming he's your friend. Like a well, it depends on what makes you break up with the guy. Okay, let's say he cheats on you. I don't know what you don't like. Like what is a no-no for you in your mm -hmm. relationship, or when you get into a relationship. But it depends on. It still boils down to what makes you guys break up at first. Do you get mm. if it's something that you know that oh it's something that he will work on then you can give him another chance because nobody is perfect you also can do something that is wrong but if it's something that he has done that you know that this guy cannot even change over it like me now nah, i don't like guys that cheat so if he cheats and i catch him cheating why should i be stressing myself to say let him come back obviously when he comes back he might cheat again no he so, has apologized though uh, that he apologized does not make him to stop cheating do you understand? Somebody can tell you that I'm sorry. Or I'm sorry for what I did, but the person can still go ahead and do it again. So that one is not even a criteria for me. Once we break up, it depends on why we broke up. I can know if we are going to come back. Ah, oh, we are not going to come back. Yeah. Okay. I'm done. I don't have any other question for you. You don't have any other question again. So let's conclude this thing what i'm trying to say is to just learn how to approve um learn how and um, be know how you keep yourself do you also know that the way you do yourself depends on how a, a guy you. Eh? it depends on the way people qualify you or pe people take you yeah. uh, exactly so you just know how you do yourself also having a boyfriend is not a bad thing no Having a boyfriend is not a bad thing, I won't tell you. It is what you do in that relationship with the boy that makes it bad or good. And how serious you people are in working out your being, you know, um, knowing each other and what impact is that guy doing for you and what impact are you doing for the guy. That is another thing. Do you get? Yeah. And then, the one thing I want to also tell you is that these days, like we talked about rape, guys just, what they, what they want to do in a woman's life is just to sleep with them and dump them. Have you ever heard of that? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. When a guy just come just to sleep with you and then dump, dump you. So you, 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 you learn how to compose yourself, how to know what to do at the right time. And then, you know, don't be loose. Don't be somebody that is loose that, okay, any guy that talks to you, you agree. Any guy that talks to you, you agree. And then remember the qualities you need in a man. Does he possess it? Okay? Okay. No, mostly girls now with we are easily deceived with money. Oh yeah, that's it. Another thing I didn't talk about. You see why I say she talk, okay? So don't let don't let guys, rich guys, see and go for what you want. What do you want? 
no, okay, go for what they yeah, want. Yeah, they should always go for what they want. Does it mean you should you, you should you should date a poor guy? No, I don't mean you should date a poor guy. Seriously, <laughs> 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 we need money, so you can't date a poor guy. Okay, uh, wait, wait, wait. You can't date a poor guy. No, nah, I don't even understand. It depends. No, I can't. You can't date a poor guy. I can't. Though, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> she says she cannot date a poor guy. Well, what if God now say this is the guy I want you guys to be together, build together? You can't date him. And God, the God that said it will provide. <laughs> I'm weak. I'm weak. Okay, continue. Uh huh. Go for what you want. Don't be deceived, like she said. Don't be loose. Mm -hmm. Always believe in yourself. Believe mm -hmm. you can do it. Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> all right, she have tried. She have said it all. You guys, if you have our age, younger ones coming up, people should know. You know, know what you are doing. I just said to have this chat with her because I don't think I have ever sat down together to you know discuss this thing with her or talk something like this. But it's my pleasure, you know hearing from her she told us the story of a rape person and now she's giving us an advice i also gave her my own advice and i hope she takes it too okay uh-huh so guys thank you all for watching if you find this video very helpful and very entertaining give it a thumbs up and do not forget guys you know what i told you people i like very communication and um um you guys should please comment tell me what you think about this video thank you so much for watching and we will see in my next video. We will see my next video. Say bye to them. Bye. Bye.